for decades these metal boxes have hung in our garages and basements and really haven't told us anything about what's going on inside. Schneider Electric has a device called the Wiser Energy that looks to change all that. In this video I'm going to show you how to install it and set up the app so you can start monitoring your energy. How's it going? On this channel I like to do it myself. I take you along for the good, the bad, and sometimes the ugly. And if that's something that you think you need in your feed, consider subscribing and don't forget to click the bell so you won't miss a video when it comes out. Full disclosure on this, Schneider Electric, which is uh, the parent company of Square D that makes the Wiser Energy, did send me this device for doing the video and testing. I did not purchase it and I'm going to keep it and do some monitoring. This is part one of a two-part video because I'm going to let it run and monitor the energy in the home here and then report back on what the app shows up and how the results are. So what's in the box? In the box you're going to find the Wiser Energy unit. You're going to find a wiring harness for the antenna, a wiring harness that is actually for the main power for the unit. You'll find a bracket to mount it if for some reason there's not enough room to sit in the bottom of your breaker box. Then you could mount it with the screws and attached bracket. There's an installation guide and then also a pamphlet for the app. There are also two spring clip monitor clamps that go on the main feeds into your breaker. So let's jump into installing it. First things first, uh, safety. I am not a licensed electrician and this is not meant as electrical advice. If for any reason you don't feel comfortable working around electric, just hire an electrician to install the device. It's really not that hard to do. Let's take a look. So the first thing you want to do for safety is turn off the main breaker. Obviously let everybody in your house know that you're doing that so that they're not in the middle of doing something and the electric goes out. Once you do that, you're going to remove the cover from your main panel. And then I actually have a extra breaker because we currently have a gas stove and not an electric stove, but there was a breaker in there for an electric stove when we bought the house. So I am actually using that as a standalone breaker for the Wiser Energy. Now you do not have to do that. You can actually do a double wire if your breaker is equipped with the ability to allow two wires under each terminal. If there's not an extra terminal available, you can pigtail out of the breaker using a short piece of wire that's the same gauge as the circuit that the breaker powers and then use a wire nut and connect both the Wiser Energy harness as well as the circuit back up to the breaker. Once you've gained access to your breaker box, it's pretty simple. It's just a matter of hooking up the red and black wire to either side of the 240 volt breaker. And then you also want to connect the white wire, which is a neutral wire, into the neutral bar inside of your breaker panel. Once you've completed that, then you want to take extra care in attaching the monitor clamps to the main wires that come into your panel. Uh, just be very, very careful with that. Even though you've got the breaker turned off, those wires that come in are live and they can shock you. So be very careful with that. Uh, use gloves. I certainly recommend doing that. After installing those items, I installed the antenna. And to install the antenna, you'll need to remove one of the knockouts. And if your panel is inside indoors like mine, then you can use one of the side knockouts on the panel in order to install the antenna. And you're going to install it with the threads facing out so that you can screw the antenna on the outside of the breaker box. And then it's just a matter of snapping it into place, screwing it into the top of this Wiser Energy device, and then you can connect the other two Molex connectors. They are different types, so you won't mistakenly plug them into the wrong place. Plug those in, put the cover back on, turn your main breaker on, and then turn the breaker for the Wiser Energy device on. And lastly included with the kit is a sticker to label the breaker that the Wiser Energy device is on. So go ahead and do that so you know which breaker is running the Wiser Energy device. Now once you install the device and turn the breaker back on, you're going to hear an audible beep. And the, it is pretty faint, at least in my experience it was pretty faint. And so you want to make sure you stick around close to the breaker box in order to hear that beep. If you hear continuous beeps, that means there's some kind of a, an issue with your wiring and you need to check that. If there is no beep at all, then that means that there's something malfunctioning as well. So you would need to look into that. But once you hear that beep, that basically means that the unit is initialized and it's ready for you to go ahead and install the app. Now installing the app is very easy. They have it for Android and iOS. And once you've downloaded and installed the Energy app, you'll start it. You'll go through a brief process of setting it up. And then you'll provide a email and a password for it. You'll want to be in close proximity to the breaker box in order for your phone to connect to the Wiser Energy device. It will go through a search function and then once it detects it, it will show it on the screen. 
It'll bring you to another menu where you input your router information as well as the Wi-Fi password for your system. Once you go through the setup process, it is then connected to the Wiser Energy app. And in there, there's lots of options where you can add all of the details about your home. You can add the details about any devices that might be connected into your system. You won't notice any sort of an identification right away for the devices. It does take a little bit of time. And that's why I said this is the first part of a two-part video. I'm going to come back in a few months and share with you exactly what all has been detected and what's been identified. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what kind of power consumption I get and what it, what it identifies, what it doesn't. And uh, I will definitely give you some feedback on what my thoughts are. The installation was pretty straightforward, no problem there. The app really connected pretty easily, no problems with it at all. Stay tuned for the second part of the series. I certainly do appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I certainly do appreciate it. Leave a comment down below if you're using an energy monitor. What type are you using? Is it working for you? Thank you again. We'll see you in the next video.